Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. I've got a massive spot on my nose here. Um, hopefully it won't show up too much on the camera and please don't talk about it in the comment section because I'm very conscious of it and I, I really hate it. I've been waiting for it to go away, uh, but it's been over a week and it's still there, but I have to carry on making videos. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave it there and just hopefully no one will notice it. Uh, but the very fact that I'm talking about it, you probably are aware of it now. But anyway, please don't talk about it. So on to today's video, I just want to quickly show you guys what a dead battery looks like in this case from a motorcycle, which is a 12 volt battery. Uh, basically, I've never came across a fully dead battery before and I thought it might be interesting to share with you guys to show you what the signs are that it is completely dead. I guess the most obvious thing is like if your bike or car doesn't start, then there's probably something wrong with the battery. Assuming that there's no other mechanical issues, but uh, we're just focusing on the battery here itself. Uh, I thought I'd give it a charge, you know, using the SeaTech charger and uh, this video is not sponsored by the way. Uh, I tried charging it and it indicated that it was fully charged, but the bike still wouldn't um, start. So that's when I, although I should have, you know, checked it beforehand. Uh, I used a multimeter to check the voltage on the battery and it was below 12 volts, which is strange because the charger said it was fully charged. So that's the first thing I just want to tell you guys is don't believe the charger completely because it could be wrong. There is a specific step on the charger that's supposed to analyze the fact that it's not holding its charge, but I guess it didn't drop in quickly enough in this instance because I think it only tests it for like a couple of minutes. But uh, what happened was the battery was charged overnight and then the next morning it was like dropping down below 12 volts. So I guess the uh, charger could miss it in this instance. So uh, don't believe it completely uh, anyway. After testing it with the uh, multimeter, it was below 12 volts, so I was pretty sure that the uh, battery is beyond, um, not repair, but beyond uh, able to hold its charge, even using a, a charger. But anyway, I thought I'll give it another try and try to use the CZAC charger to charge it again. And in this case, it did actually take forever to uh, get past the first step. Usually it would just take a few seconds, but the fact that it was just holding there for quite some time, it was another indication that it's, it's, it's not able to hold the charge or uh, get through that phase. Although I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. According to the manual, it's doing some kind of desulfatation or something like that. Uh, if I check it with the multimeter, the voltage is sort of like going up and down, up and down, but uh, I don't know how the charger determines uh, whether it's uh, able to pass the first step. But like I said, with this dead battery, it just gets stuck there for a very long time. And the second time that I did try to recharge it, it does eventually get past that first step. But uh, when it gets to the uh, step number five in this time, it does uh, tell me that the battery is not able to hold the charge and there's a red lamp on it. So it's a little bit more reassuring uh, the second time uh, after trying again, the battery charger does accurately lets you know that the battery is not able to hold its charge and showing you there as an indication if you don't have a multimeter. So I thought that was quite interesting because I've never seen it before myself. So so yeah, uh, if your battery, if your car, your bike doesn't start, um, that could be the reason. Uh, if you do want to be more specific, if you have one of the CZTEC chargers, keep an eye out. If it's displaying the red light at a certain stage, it will tell you in the manual what the reasons are. If you don't have a battery charger that has the uh, function to tell you whether the battery is dead or not, just get yourself a multimeter, which is super useful and handy in my case, because it can quickly tell you the voltage if it's below 12 volts. Uh, um, even after charging as such, then it's a very good indication that the battery is very much dead and needs replacing. Anyway, I didn't want to make this video for too long. I just thought it was interesting an observation because like I said, personally, I've never came across a dead battery as such before uh, to the point where it just completely would not hold its charge. So we can probably officially uh, declare this battery as dead and it can go into recycling. Anyway, I hope you've learned something today. I thought it was interesting myself personally and uh, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.